What's up guys? Today is Friday. Finally, Friday. Y'all know what day it is. It's Snap-on Friday. Let's take a look, see what he's got. Come on. Get that right. Better than what it does outside. Close that door. Keep that cool air in. <laughs> Keep all that muggy air out. It's so hot Another. out there. Hot, hot, hot. Well, I'm gonna have to buy some stuff today. Oh, uh, what'd you do? I done lost some tools. Well, a socket. I loose did one. I ain't got a clue where it's at. Is it a 10 millimeter? No, it's a <laughs> eight millimeter quarter inch drive, six point impact socket. Now all, all tool companies put a, a special chemical in the 10 millimeters when they touch oil or grease, they magically dissolve, dissolve. and you don't look at them. <laughs> so you gotta buy more of them. <laughs> yeah, so you wanna tell everybody what kind of vehicle you're looking at trading for? Looking at a Nissan Rogue. Anybody got one of them? I'll put a picture up here and that way y'all guys can see it. It was a, I guess it was a company vehicle, wasn't it? Yeah. So Hamilton's thinking about trading, trading for that. A lot of people would have good insight on little Nissan Rogues. <laughs> so if you guys know anything about a Nissan Rogue, if Hamilton should trade for it, y'all let him know in the comments. And uh, <laughs> he just don't want to get stuck with a piece of junk, you know? Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> Got bad advertisement on the side of them already. <laughs> I need an impact. Impact? Short sure. six point impact. No short ones in there, an impact. Impact six millimeter. Impact six point. Eight millimeter. Eight millimeter. Yeah. Quarter inch drive. Quarter inch. I ain't got a clue where it went to. I had it on my map the time I walked to the roll cart. Put it all back up. Gone or, forever. Uh, some of that stuff must have got on that one too, dissolved. <laughs> it happens, huh? Yeah. Well, them some big old heavy wall jokers right there. Is that is a nineteen, I think, or what size is that one? Nineteen. Sixteen. Sixteen. But head bolt on Detroit's, I think. What they? Uh... It's a heavy duty song, huh? You crack the wall of that, and you've done something. Putting out a lot of pressure for sure. All of them the same size. Yeah, they are. Yeah, you crack one of them, you've done something. Yeah, I think them on the Detroit head bolts. It's heavy duty. They, uh, some guys, they're half inch drive, but I think they adapt them down from a three quarter to get some of them head bolts out, they said. I don't work on anything that doesn't take a socket like that to get a, a bolt out though. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I don't want to work on nothing, but I have to. Yeah. <clears throat> I like to work on my beer belly. That's my favorite thing. The favorite workout? <laughs> 12 ounce curls? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> sure enough. You got to do what you got to do. Stay hydrated for sure in this Mississippi <clears throat> heat. Absolutely. Well, when are you going to get some tools in here? I got uh, I got a text while I go. They said that two shipments coming in. Finally. Alright, <clears throat> they gonna have to snap them gonna have to hurry up or Yeah they uh, you know I told you all my ratchets are supposed to come in with that toolbox and uh I was emailing them yesterday and that's where they uh my sales manager original manager he emailed me back he said that they're gonna go and send the tools 
ahead instead of waiting on the tow box. So thank you. I need that. <laughs> Hard to sell them if you ain't got them, ain't Yeah. It? The only thing we got this week was this new torque wrench, which is this thing's nice now. All black. Is that the 300 foot pound one? Mm hmm. Black candle, black writing, black shaft, black head, everything, all black on it. Look pretty good. Mm hmm. Them's nice torque wrenches, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, a, it's pretty nice. They, I got a, a demo in the 250 and the 300. That's what, uh, of course, I, every time I loan one out, I always loan the 300s. And I'm not sure why anybody would buy a 250 because they're about the same price anyway. Yeah. Well, the reason why I got a 250 is because they didn't have the 300 one. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one. That's what most people have, is yeah. the, or the one if they're already had one before the 300s and they got mm -hmm. the 250 one. Yeah, but that's what I had the 250 also. So then I had to go, go back and order a demo 300. Yep. But yeah, they nice. Sure I don't know of anything that I'd work on that I have the extra 50 foot pounds of torque, but it's nice having the extra length on there when you're pulling mm -hmm. on it for sure. Yeah, y'all. Yeah, they need to hurry up and get some tools sent. Yeah, we're to have some more of them uh, new brushless ratchets next week, though. Well, I'm ready for one of them. I'd, well, I'd, they told me before I had two of them coming in. Now I think I got six of them. Cool. So I need to go good. ahead and send you the brushless. 3 8 gun first. Let's try it out. Yeah. Send us a demo. Yeah. Let us see how strong it is. <laughs> Put it through its paces. If it's any stouter than the 761s, it'll be pretty dang good. Mm -hmm. That's still my favorite little impact. Yeah. I bought that little DeWalt to do what it couldn't do, and uh, I like it, but that rocker trigger is what sells that CT 761. Yeah. The rocking trigger, well, that's with the, with the screw guns. I ain't got one of the new screw guns. But like on the, uh, when they first came out with the brushless screw guns, they had the trigger like these. Yeah. And then they went back and added the rocker trigger onto them because mm -hmm. they had so much kickback on them. Hopefully they uh, realized then that they got to have the rocker trigger on the 761. Well, they're supposed to have it on the brushless or the guy that or the, told me that he's trying one out and sent a picture said that was the 861, so. Is it from Texas or California? Texas. Yeah. <laughs> That's all the ones that get all the trial stuff. I don't know what they got to do to qualify for that. But. Hell, I don't know either. I wish they'd send me one. I, I could tell you how much it could do before it even got for sale. Yeah. We'll break out the torque wrench and twist the guts out of it. We'll do something to it for sure. <laughs> so we can let the smoke pack it out of it. Oof. <laughs> that polisher, I let the smoke out of it really fast. <laughs> I think it was three of them before they come out with the brushless. Yeah. You ain't had no problem with the brushless one, have you? I ain't you? used it. I ain't used it? <laughs> nope. I ain't gonna lie, I'm still nervous of that thing. <laughs> the first three I got was such big hunks of crap. Now that's what we talked about that before. That's crazy, because I hardly ever sent any of the polishers off. Yep. And I'm I not. didn't get five minutes of run time yep. out of all three of them yep. combined. Like, if you stacked them on top of each other. Every one of them would be some moth out, look brand new again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't hardly hardly have any problems out of the polisher. I don't think I've sent off any of the brushless ones. Well, I did send off one, but the guy left it on the toolbox in the rain. Yeah, they don't have an effect Yeah, it didn't like that. The, it happens. They warranted it out for the fella, but they sent the motor back with it and it was rusted up, told them it wouldn't be warranted out again for that same thing. <laughs> Just tell him they were to make them waterproof. Yeah. <laughs> Might want to polish something, wet sand something. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. I need to, if you will, order that socket. Cause oh yeah, we'll have that bad boy in next week. I need it. Man, this is the lowest I think I've ever seen your truck on tools ever. Skinny right now. Used to you'd have crap sitting in toolbox drawers and <laughs> these shelves back here. You couldn't see nothing because that makes yeah. a fool. The only thing you got in here right now is uh books. I got some stuff in here that we get in. Where's that light? I'm still waiting on that guy. Two books. 12 point socket we got in the other day waiting on somebody. Yep. They're going to have to step their game up. Well, yeah. yeah, hopefully they, well they 
he said we can get two shipments in next week. All you're doing is helping the Matco guy and the Mac guy sell tools by not being able <laughs> right to get them in. <laughs> right now, for sure. That's it. Oh, well. Yeah. I guess Snap on don't need no money. They make enough off y'all from franchise fees. They probably don't care if they I sell think they go money. up monthly, too. The franchise fees? Yeah. <laughs> So like every time I turn around, get an email about the franchise fee going. They weren't sending me no damn tools. I'd tell them to say, I'll send you my franchise fee when I get some tools. <laughs> like, I can't pay you if I can't make no money. Yeah, that's, like, that's exactly how it works. Right. <laughs> it's order tools, shouldn't it? That's it. I'd send, I'm going to put it in the return slip when I get my tools. <laughs> <laughs> Confirmation. That's it. Oh, man. Well, I guess we're finna get back in here and get something done and finish the week and go home thank god finally finally friday weeks all right guys well thank y'all for hanging out with us and like always if you like the video hit that thumbs up check over here for merchandise cool tools and discount codes down here and if you're not subscribed click that button you guys have a great week catch you later see ya